Alright, so welcome back again to Pinoy Screencast. I'm V-Boy and today is not a typical video. So it's just a uh, video that I'm going to share to you guys because I recently upgraded my storage devices. And I might as well share to you guys yung mga kwento behind my upgrade and the reason why I upgraded. And to be honest, actually, uh, bihira ako mag-upgrade ng mga storage unless kailangan kailangan ko na sila. And usually, uh, ang storage is one of my crucial part dito sa workflow ko kasi sila. So, well, I'm editing in 4K on my review and most of the time is I, I do lengthy video. And uh, even though, actually, yung streaming natin is I also do a backup that. And most of the time, I need a huge storage. At the same time, hindi lang malaking storage. Kailangan ko rin ng uh, mabilis na storage when I'm editing on my laptop or either on my desktop. So, in this video, I'm going to share to you yung mga gamit ko na mga storage devices. Just a quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video by any mean. So, kung ano man yung mga i-mention ko dito na brand, it's either I purchase it personally and yung iba, is uh, binigay lang sa akin, right? Or niregalo. And also, I'll be sharing to you later kung saan ko sila binili and saan ko sila nakuha. Para at least, if you're also interested on having either of these uh, devices that I'm going to feature, is you can go check that out as well. To start with, is ang unang-una kong uh, storage that pa is, if you remember, I recently did a review of this one, the A-Pacer na hard drive and this hard drive is actually 2 terabyte ang kagandahan sa kanya is very ano siya very rugged so yung rugged type niya as, as you can see here uh, you can just actually this one remove and then pwede yung ipalupot ng naganyan so hindi siya magtatanggle I got this actually nung I went to Computex so when I visited yung kanilang factory so they uh, ito yung parang regalo nila sa amin nung nagvisit kami sa uh, kanilang factory and which is really nice actually hindi na factory yung main office nila sa Taiwan and uh, sobrang tagal na sa akin ito you can check yung review if you're interested uh, I'll just link it uh, dito yan so dito I'll just link it there and you can go check this out and actually uh, hindi naman siya sobrang ganun kabilis pero what I like about it is yung pagiging durable niya kasi even though sabi mo nga ibagsak nyo na ganyan ilang beses is hindi talaga siya uh, masisira kaagad kasi nga may protection siya. Okay, so yung pangalawa natin is this actually is the WD. Medyo actually burado na kasi sobrang tagal na nga sa akin itong mga uh, ano na to, mga storage na to. So, pero uh, this one is the My Passport Wireless and I think I got this two years ago. It's not the best uh, storage. If you are going to have a uh, SD card. Actually, may nakabara pa nga dito dahil matagal ko siya hindi nagagamit. <laughs> may nakabara dito sa store, ano niya, sa slot niya. Pero, kagandaan dito kasi, since it's a wireless, so basically, once you turn this on, uh, pwede siya maging hotspot. If you want to access itong drive na to via wireless, so you just have to download yung app and then you can access it any of your devices. And, ang second feature niya is when you put a uh, SD card here, for example, itong SD card ko, ikakabit ko dito and automatically it will back up so rather than ikakabit ko sa laptop mo so this one is kabit mo lang and then it will automatically back up although it takes some time para mag back up and bihira ko naman gamitin yun kasi usually pag video medyo matagal nga lang mag back up tong uh, drive na to but for photo uh, I can say yun yung pinaka ano niya uh, mas mabilis na pag transfer quite pricey pero if you're looking for a uh, portable na wireless pero i think meron silang bagong model so this is the first gen na uh, my passport pero uh, based from experience hindi ganoon kabilis if you're looking for something na wireless at the same time na malaking storage so i highly recommend uh, buying the newer generation of this one kasi there's a, there's been a lot of improvement in terms of transfer speed of this storage for the details i'll just link it in the description box where you can check uh, this hard drive. Ang next ko is actually yung ginagamit ko na mga card reader. So, I have here two card readers and basically, uh, sabi ko nga, when I went to Computex is I actually visited yung Transcend na boot. The reason why uh, most of my storage I, I lean towards this brand kasi most of them have all of the uh, storage na kailangan ko. And at the same time, is parang yung whole ecosystem nila for example from card reader storage memory uh, ano ba like yung memory na ram na pang uh, laptop or pang desktop and yung mga m.2 
yung mga memory stick. Basta yun. So, most of most of them, actually, I'll, I'll link it uh, here where you can check yung video ko ng Computex. Kasi hindi lang naman storage, meron din silang pang mga enterprise and at the same time, meron silang mga, mga dash cam. And, kumbaga, uh, yun nga, sabi ko, yung ecosystem nila, most of anything you need for a storage at the same time for security purposes, uh, meron si Transcend. Silang usually go-to ko pag mga ganitong mga storage. Kasi, number one, mura sila and accessible. Usually, uh, ang daling hanapin, uh, not like, for example, ito. Itong A-Pacer, although I like this one, pero hindi ko siya makikita kagad sa mga online store or either sa mga mall. And at the same time, for example, si WD, one of the... Uh, known uh, storage brand pero it's a bit on the uh, high-end price pero if you're on a budget like me uh, recently kasi sabi ko nga I usually have larger storage pero right now ang ginagamit ko lang is kumbaga I'm being practical hindi na ako bumibili ng sobrang laking mga storage kasi based from experience actually uh, mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo yung binili ko na storage and nagulat ako sa presyo niya so unahin ko lang muna is yung ating uh, card reader. So, I have here is the ayun, RDC2 na USB Type-C. So, basically, I use this to transfer uh, files nasa phone ko. Or, if I want to transfer yung uh, nasa SD card ko and then kakabit ko dito and gusto kong mabasa yung uh, nasa SD card and, kumbaga, ay, wala akong laptop na dala and gusto ko siya, kagad siyang ma-transfer, I usually use my phone. This is a uh, Cherry Mobile na phone. Type-C siya. When I put this transcend, yan, may kita nyo, ilaw tayo dito, may LED light, and here, may kita nyo na <laughs> corrupted, corrupted USB drive. Actually, kasi kaka, ano ko lang ito, kaka-format ko lang sa uh, laptop. So, and, pinormat ko siya sa Mac OS. Kaya hindi niya kagano basa and usually nababasa niya pang storage ng phone. Actually, dinadownload ko pa yung app nila para mas maging parang compatible yung mga tinatransfer ko na file. And I'll just link yung app na kailangan para mas madali yung pag-transfer na hindi nyo kakailangan i-format yung mga drive nyo para at least kung gusto nyo i-transfer sa phone nyo or sa laptop or sa desktop, madali nyo magagawa yun. And uh, this uh, storage natin is capable of transferring micro SD. Ayan, micro SD dito. And then we got here yun, yung SD card which is yun yung gamit ko. And then we have also here a uh, USB. For example, if you want to use a mouse, uh, yun, ginagamit ko rin to para makapitan ng mouse or either keyboard. I do recommend na you use this one if you have a Type-C na device. Okay, so next natin na uh, gamit is this one. This is the Transcend uh, TSRD C8K. Actually, this is the older model uh, but for me, it still works and ang meron sa kanya is yung CF slot and then SDHC, SDXC, and then micro SD. And the good thing here is, yun, meron pa siya sa likod, MS Pro, XC, MS Duo, yun yung mga pang PSP. If I'm, I'm not sure if meron pa rin mga ganong <laughs> gumagamit. Pero yun, uh, ang, ang kagandahan sa kanya, yung unang-unang generation pa nito is actually, ano pa, uh, 3.0 lang. But this one, naka 3.1 na, so it means it's using the USB Type-C. Pag binili nyo to, may kasama na siya na cable na dalawa. Although, eh, yan. Ingat-ingat na ng rabbit ko yung, <laughs> yung isa kong kable. Pero, uh, ito yung isa niyang cable na kasama. So, ito yung regular na 3.0. Actually, marami akong ganito kasi yung yung hard drive ko rin nito ng WD and then yung iba ko pang mga storage uh, usually ganito yung mga kasama it shows this rather than gusto sabihin nyo diba meron naman mga CDR King and meron naman mga card reader na mas mura this one I use this kasi ito yung halos kasing bilis nung uh, nasa SanDisk na card reader yung sa SanDisk kasi ang hirap na hanapin ngayon I'm not sure if uh, tinigil nila yung pag uh, distribute nun and yung sa Lexmark naman is ang hirap din hanapin and it's quite pricey. So this one, 100 na lang ata or one, less than 1, basta less than 1,000 siya. I can still use this. It's either, yun nga, Type-C. So kung mga future-proof nga siya, if I want to use it as uh, Type-C, pwede ko rin gamitin. And then kapit ko lang din yung uh, 3.0. If I want, magagamit ko na yung card reader na to. Don't expect na super bilis yung transfer speed. But for my workflow, 
when I'm editing a 4K uh, so far uh, yung speed niya is, is it can cope up naman with the uh, SD card na ginagamit ko. Segway na ako kagad sa SD card. So, ang SD card na ginagamit ko, guys, is this. This is the Transcend. Actually, ito. Uh, ito yung naka-pack pa. So, sinadya ko talaga na hindi buksan tong isa kasi gusto ko pakita sa inyo. Kasi, bakit dalawa yung SD card ko? Before kasi, ang binili ko na SD card, ang binibili ko na SD card is 128 gig. Based from experience, hindi ano eh, hindi sulit in terms of yung pagal nila. Ang nagiging problema ko is kasi ako lagi akong lagi akong kinakabit, tanggal, kabit, tanggal. So ang nangyayari, yung part na to ng storage, yung mga lock is uh, pag pag tumagal, is nasisira yan. at the same time, unti-unting bumubuka yung ano nito yung mga part niya and for me uh, medyo disadvantage yun kasi kapag malaki yung storage mo and binili mo siya nasa around 2000 plus so ba diba, parang nakaka disappoint ang mahal ng bili mo and then parang less than a year pa lang siya uh, nasira na and based on experience yun nga uh, nakailang yung 128 gig na ako na storage na dala na ako na sabi ko uh, I will lower my ano my uh, storage size na muna to 64 and ang kagandahan nun eh sabi ko nga yung 128 kasi na storage is nasa nag price na isang 1000 to 2000 I think nag lower na sila ngayon not like before talaga nung uh, kasagsagan ko na ng 4K video is ang tataas ng presyo pero ngayon nga this one I got this for only 600 pesos isa ha hindi yung dalawa <laughs> 600 plus so I'll just post yung uh, official price nyan para makita nyo it's really surprising kasi for its speed na 95 uh, megabits per second and nakita nyo na it's the V30 version and uh, it's a class 10 plus it's recommendable for 4K video kumbaga ito yung starter pack eh, ng uh, mga storage when you want to shoot with 4K uh, yun bubuksan ko na tong isang to para makita nyo ito mga to yung iba na device I got this from Lazada sa online and sa Shopee yung mga hard drive yun nga yung hard drive puro regalo sa akin yun and this one I got this from Go Gadget, so I'll just link them here na lang and uh, you can visit their Facebook ang kaganda sa kanila very accommodating at at the same time ang mura sa kanila if you will compare the price of this one sa ibang shop and sa ibang online store and even from the official na Transcend uh, mas mura sa kanila ng ng, ng konti uh, and which is I also recommend buying sa mga ganong seller na maliliit kasi usually kahit pa ano, you're helping them. Kumbaga, you're helping the small entrepreneur or SME na mga seller uh, rather than yung sa mismong brand. So I'm not, I'm not saying na hindi niyo support yung brand pero uh, most of the time uh, mas makaka discount kayo kapag kumuha kayo sa mga uh, online sellers. And yun, so si Go Gadget is one of the go-to ko na na mga store kasi malapit lang din sa location ko at the same time yun nga may online sila and very responsive sila sa, sa chat nila kaya yun then so pares na 64 yan use this uh, as my daily uh, SD card and at the same time uh, mamaya itetest ko papakita ko sa inyo kung gano'ng kabili siya and another storage na kinuha ko sa kanila recently this is one of my favorite ngayon na uh, storage ko look at this how, look how small this storage this is a storage <laughs> and this is a M.2 uh, SSD so 240 na storage so mayon silang 128 and I think may 512 din sila so I got this for 3000 pesos and so far I'm really loving this this storage so ang laking tulong nito sa akin kasi uh, as you can see naman how, how portable itong storage na to compared dito sa mga ginagamit ko dati na mga hard drive and uh, this one diba as you can see in terms of size comparison pa lang makikita nyo na ang layo and ima imagine nyo if, if you have this and it's even 3 times faster than the regular mga SSD and mga storage na uh, regular na hard drive I'm going to show you ang speed nya pinili ko to kasi nga, yun nga I'm looking for a storage na portable at the same time hindi bulky kasi nga medyo napabulkihan na ako sa mga hard drive ko recently so nag check ako online and naalala ko nga noon nung pumunta ako sa Computex Taiwan is 
may nakita ako doon na storage na pang MacBook. Uh, yun nga lang, uh, yun yung high-end ng Transcend. Eh. So, chineko online if meron na locally sa Philippines. Although may tag-ulan nila announce yun. So, nag- hinahanap ko, unfortunately, parang hindi ata dumating dito sa Philippines yung storage na yun. Uh, I think that's the pro, pero I just uh, link the video where you can check. And nakita ko nga itong Transcend na... Actually, ang pangalan nito is the TS240. Ayun, 240 pala siya. Uh, this is aluminum build, may kita nyo? Na yan. Uh, very similar with my MacBook na silver niya. Kaya sobrang, di ba? Kita nyo, sobrang forma niya. Ayan. So, sobrang bagay sa, ano siya, sa forma ng MacBook. And ang kagandaan sa kanya is pag binili nyo siya, may kasama na siyang, actually sa kanya galing to. Although yung isa, hindi to yung sa kanya na kable. Pero... Ang kasama na kable sa kanya, uh, hindi ko lang na, na ready pero so yung kabila niya dito is USB type C. So magkabilaan yung USB type C and then yung isa niyang kabila naman is uh, USB 3.0. So dalawang cable lang kasama sa kanya. So unfortunately, nga yung mga devices ko ngayon is uh, wala walang USB type C. Kasi although yung PC ko dati naka USB type C nga lang nung nasira siya nag-downgrade muna ako ng motherboard. Kaya so far ngayon Uh, ang gamit ko palang is 3.0 Unfortunately, hindi ko na-utilize yung pinaka top speed niya But I'm going to show you yung current niya na speed Alright, actually nahanap ko na yung isa niyang cable So ito yon, yung Type-C, yung uh, kabila And then yung other end niya is uh, USB uh, 3.0 Nakita nyo na SS yung nakalagay na kanya icon. Alright, so ang first test ko is using the built-in card reader ng MacBook Pro and we'll check if maabot yung read speed ng ating transcend read up to 95 megabits per second. So, naset ko na yung uh, drive. So, usually kapag mubili ako ng SD card, ang pinipili ko is yung write speed. Pero yun nga, sabi ko, uh, this is re- really affordable kaya uh, I didn't hesitate to buy it and usually naman, kahit o pano, Uh, yung speed na nakukuha nito is for me is sufficient enough para sa workflow ko pero yun, uh, usually pag gumukuha ko talaga ng mga medyo high-end na SD card is ang gusto ko mas patas yung uh, write speed kasi ang write speed is really important when it comes to recording sa video lalong lalo na kapag 4K kapag nag 4K kayo, kapag nag record kayo and then kapag nag stop record kayo yung write speed is yung gano'ng kabilis yung pag-transfer niya dun sa SD card. Uh, ang speed niya dito for the SD card is, let's see here, is umabot ng 40, 50 ang write speed natin. And I think abot pa ng 60. Not bad. Okay. And then yung read speed natin nasa 85. So, roughly mga gano'n, nakukuha niya yung speed. Going to check naman ngayon is yung uh, card reader. If uh, makukuha niya yung ano na yan, speed na yan. Pero for sure, dahil 3.0 lang na to and uh, mas mabilis kapag naka 3.1 na type C, uh, I expect na medyo mas mabagal to ng content. Okay, so naset ko na storage. So, let's see. So, ang right speed is nasa 20 plus. And ang read is nasa 57. Ang problema ko nga lang din dito, so yun, yung, yung medyo parang issue nito sa akin, yung card reader na to, is masailan siya sa cable. So for example, this one, makita nyo, mayroon na kagat nung rabbit ko. So ginatkat niya kasi yung cable ko. And from time to time, I needed to change this cable kasi sobrang sensitive niya. And uh, I think ito yung may problema ko na USB. So, pero as you can see, yun. Uh, maangat pa rin, 42 na. So, yun, as expected, sabi ko nga, medyo mas mabagal siya kasi it's using the uh, 3.0 na USB, not yung uh, built-in. Kasi built-in kahit pa na may uh, masabilis ng content. I'll be using the 3.1, for sure it will get higher performance when it comes to this one, uh, this card reader. Okay, so for our final test, we are going to check na itong transcend M.2 SSD going to check na So 339 for the write speed and for the read na sa 400 and you can see here yung chart natin ng uh, this speed test almost uh, check lahat from ProRes 422. As you can see yung speed niya is 
it's really high. Again, take note that I'm still using the 3.0. So, performance will still be higher kapag uh, ginamit ko is yung 3.1. Kasi ang pinaka top speed nito is I think nasa 500 above. Hindi ko pa totally nak nakukuha yung full performance ito. Sabi ko nga kasi I'm, I'm still using a uh, USB 3.0. But if I have a 3.1 USB, it will be faster. Pero yun, for me, uh, this speed is actually fine for my editing workflow. Uh, for my, uh, this one, for my laptop. So, a problem kasi sa MacBook Pro, for example, with this one, you can see that my storage is actually ma-uubos na. So, Ayan, storage ko na lang is 11 gig. So, kaya pa nag edit ako ng video is uh, directly from the hard drive ako or sa mismong storage ko na edit And the good thing here is kahit paano yung speed or yung performance ng kanyang read and write is uh, it can accommodate yung, yung need ko for my editing workflow. Ang only problem ko dito is yun nga lang, syempre, aluminum yung material ng kanyang... Uh, mismong body. So, from time to time, umiinit talaga siya. As in, literal, mainit na mainit siya. So, usually, ang ginagawa ko para less yung heat niya is pinapatong ko siya sa uh, area na mag-spread out yung heat. For example, sa rubber mat, tela, or something, para mas kalat yung init niya. Hindi yung, for example, pinapatong ko siya sa metal din. So, yun, talagang sobrang init niya. Pero, yun, so far, yun lang naman yung naging problema ko dito. Pero, in terms of performance, I'm, I'm really satisfied with this one. And at the same time, yun nga, ang habol ko sa kanya is portability. And again, this is a uh, alternative para dun sa high-end na uh, mga ganitong storage. Usually, ang price ng mga ganito is nasa above 8,000 or 10,000 na. Like yung nasa Samsung na uh, portable din nila na storage. So, yun, nasa above 10,000 talaga yun. So, with this one, paying for uh, a budget price and at the same time, you're getting a decent performance as well. There you have it, guys. So, again, uh, if you're interested in any of these uh, devices, I'll just link all the details in the description box as well. And at the same time, uh, yun, uh, there will be more featured store na gagawin ko. For example, uh, may mga binili ako recently na mga equipments ko for my uh, studio setup and yun, i-feature ko rin yung uh, seller na yun dito sa, ano to, sa channel ko basically this is not sponsored pero uh, I, I want to help most of their of those uh, mga small businesses here rather than directly sa brand kasi alam mo pag brand na malalaki na sila and usually normal na yun nakapag sa brand kayo kumuha direct sa kanilang income pero uh, it might as well help na yung mga small SME na dun mag-purchase as well eh, at least diba uh, you're helping them with their businesses and uh, yun so there you have it guys so hope you, you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to give a thumbs up like and share this video and once again I'm B-Boy thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye